Hey there, thank you for joining me. The other day I got an email from, you know, I don't know if it was an email or if it was a DM in some social media platform, honestly, I can't find it. I've looked all over and I'll be darned if I know who asked me this question, so I'm sorry if it's you. But the question was, is it possible in ArcGIS Pro to make one of those scale comparison maps that everybody's doing? You know, it's, it's interesting, frankly, to say, oh, did you know that this is the same size as this? Or look how big this is. You know, they're everywhere and they're fun. You know what I'm talking about, it's these things. Uh, I mean, they're all over the place. People love to make them. And they're frankly pretty interesting and that's why, because so many map projections distort the scale of things, it can be novel and interesting to see you know, how big are these places compared to each other? And the question was, can I make one of these in ArcGIS Pro? And I mean, the answer is yeah, sure, of course. So let's, let's build one of those. I'll show you how to do that, I'll walk through that. You have to have two maps, typically there's a base map uh, with area A and then some kind of overlaying map for area B. And today I'm going to compare Alaska, the size of Alaska, to the size of Ontario, Canada, my neighbor to the east because I'm in Michigan. Ontario is a lot bigger than people mentally give it credit for, I think. It is bigger than what I mentally give it credit for. Ontario is actually pretty gigantic. So I thought, hey, let's compare Alaska to Ontario in one of these cute, kitschy scale comparison maps. All right, let's rock and roll. I have two maps in our GIS Pro, as I said, and the first step is to ensure that they're both in the same projection. So I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna change the coordinate, the projected coordinate system to one of my absolute favorites. I've literally put it in my favorites is the world from space. It's so nice. I'll show you what it looks like if you aren't familiar. Here it is. Obviously, Alaska's off center. Now, this is not a 3D map, so I can't just grab this and rotate it. I'm gonna have to reset the center of the projection to the middle of Alaska. And I'm gonna have to do the same thing for Ontario. So I'll open the properties. And for this projection, you can right click and choose copy and modify. Now you can dig into the guts of whatever projection you're working with in ArcGIS Pro. So the longitude, which is the way around the world, I'm gonna to set to negative 153, because that's the middle of Alaska. And the latitude, middle of Alaska is uh, 65. Save it, makes a little variant of the world from space for me. I'll hit okay, there we go, a centered map of Alaska and a cool looking projection. Now you might be wondering, hey, why isn't he using an equal area projection? This isn't fair. This is geographic heresy. And I'll tell you, not really. It doesn't have to be equal area if you're using two different maps and you overlay them on top of each other and you set their scales to be exactly the same. Crazy, right? Well, let's walk through it. So let's do the same thing for Ontario. All right, click this, open the properties and I will give it the same projection, which is the world from space. But this time, I'm gonna set its center point to the center of Ontario, which is uh, longitude negative 86, and the latitude is 50. The world from space centered right over my friends in Ontario. Now we have two map views, the base and the overlay. And for the overlay, I've given it a style that will look, you know, decent overlaying atop the Alaska base. It's got a semi-transparent solid fill here. It's got a little gradient stroke, shadow-like, and a little white line there. Now let's build our layout. Okay. In a layout, I've got this empty layout. I've chosen to make it a square, but you know, whatever. And I'm going to insert my first map, which is the Alaska map that I'm gonna use as the base. And I'll choose default extent. And I'm gonna drag exactly the bounds of my layout. And I'll right click, choose activate, and I'll zoom in to Alaska so that it looks looks good. And you know what? I'm sorry, Aleutians, I love you, but in this case, I'm gonna clip some of you and I'll exit this navigation mode because if I don't enter into it when I navigate, I'm just navigating my layout. I wanted to navigate within my map. Right, get the difference? Okay. And check this out. This is the scale of the center point of my map. One to you know 7.3 million, that's the scale. We'll, we'll use that 
for our Ontario overlay. So I'm gonna do that same process again. I'm going to insert a map frame. This, this time I'm gonna choose Ontario. And it's important that I overlay it the exact same. There's little Ontario. Now, here's the, here's the magic. So for the Alaska map, you can select the map frame or the map. I'm gonna grab this scale, copy this to my clipboard, and then apply that to my Ontario map. I'll get rid of this scale, and I'll paste in the same scale as my underlying map. Isn't that cool? All right, uh, and I can fine tune its position, activate, just as long as I don't change its scale. Right. And if I, oops, I accidentally zoomed, ah, rats, no big deal. You can always just paste in our base scale anyway. Now I'll exit this. This was easy. And here it is dressed up a little bit with some blend modes and hill shade. Anyway, details. So we have two maps, and those maps have to be the same projected coordinate system, and they have to be centered, the projection has to be centered at the center point of your area of interest. So I centered it, my projection over Alaska, and then I centered my projection over Ontario. And it's that hack that means we don't necessarily have to use an equal area projection because the distortion will be the same around the periphery of our map. Uh, if you were feeling just crazy, I mean, there's nothing wrong with using an equal area projection to do this kind of thing. Um, but in this case, it just didn't look as good because the world from space looks dynamite. And then in a new layout, you overlay those two map frames and you set their two scales to be exactly the same. That's how you make A to B scale comparison maps in ArcGIS Pro. I hope you make loads of them and share them with me because I like to see these things. And check out the links below in the details panel for some more ref uh, resources and references. Maybe some of the things that I did here that I didn't have time to explain thoroughly, you can find them there. And if you're feeling crazy, you could, I mean, you could follow, you could subscribe, you could subscribe to this channel if you felt like it. I'd be honored. Thank you for watching.